viewers welcome to elimu tv a place where you watch and learn i am teacher alex musawa and i'll be taking you through physics form one lesson number 30. our title is electrostatics one the objectives of this lesson are to produce electrostatic charges number two to investigate the effects of electrostatic charges and as we all know, everything has charges. Everything includes the arula, uh, the, your, your cup next there to you. Everything ha has electrostatic charges. And the reason why they're called electrostatic charges because these charges are at a point. They are not moving. They are electrostatic. They are induced. And as you can see from the diagram, we have arula. And we have pieces of paper. What happens when you take a ruler and you rub on over your air and put it close to the pieces of paper? What you see is that there's, a, there's something that is happening there. The ruler attracts the, the papers. We have another example. We have a balloon, a balloon that has been inflated with air. And what, what, when you take the balloon and you rub it over a surface and then you bring it close to the pieces of paper, what happens? The pieces of paper are attracted. This proves that electrostatic charges exist and they are induced upon rubbing an object on a surface. As you can see there, the balloon that has been rubbed over a surface, we have induced some charges that have been able to attract the papers. Our next point. So, where do you think these charges are coming from? As you can see, we have an atom. And an atom is made up of electrons, protons, and neutrons. The electrons consist of the positively charged particles, the negatively charged particles. And the protons consist of the positively charged particles. The neutrons, they are neutral. They don't have any charge. So, where do the positive charge of an object, where are they coming from? From the protons. And the negative charge are coming from the electrons. Next point. And that is why when we take a ruler and we rub it over a surface and bring it close to the pieces of papers, what happens is that the pieces of paper, they are attracted. Why? It's because charges are induced upon rubbing. And if, when, when you see, can you see from the, uh, before rubbing, the charges are not distributed they are not distributed evenly. But after rubbing, the charges become distributed evenly. And that causes them to either attract or repel. As you can see, the light charges attract and the light charges repel. The first is charging by induction. As you can see there, there are two metal spheres, A and B. So we are going to bring a negatively charged sphere close to A and B. What happens? Since the positive charged particles are not, they cannot move. They're going to remain at point A. While the negatively charged particles, which are the electrons, they're going to be repelled because we have said that an, uh, light charges repel. They're going to be repelled to the far end of, uh, of the sphere B. And then we are going to separate the two spheres. And then what happens? The charges in A they are going to be redistribute themselves and we are going to have the positively charged particles in sphere A and in B we are going to have the negatively charged particles. Next we have charging an object by conduction method. And in conduction method we, in, we have an earthing. We have, it's, it involves whereby we are going to earth the electrons from the, from the object. Consider the, the situation there. We have a neutral sphere. So what happens when we bring a, a positively charged object before the sphere? And we are going to have an earth. And in this case, our earth is going to be, earth is going to be the hand. So the positively charged particles, they are going to attract the negatively charged particles. And as they are, they are attracted, since there is a, con there's a contact there, what happens is the negatively charged particles they're going to move into the body of the person holding that 
and then when you separate the two since the negatively charged particles have moved away the sphere remains to be positively charged and as the charges do distribute themselves the sphere remains positively charged one thing you notice when charging an object by conduction is that the object takes the charge of the the, the the object that is trying to induce the charge so both of them are positively charged next we have charging by separation and from our case you can see we have two spheres there sphere a and sphere b two what happens when you bring a negatively charged object in front of the two spheres the negatively charged particles they are going to be repelled by the object to the far end of sphere b so we have the positively charged particles remaining in sphere a as you can see there and then when we separate the two suddenly what happens is that the positively charged particles in sphere a are going to redistribute themselves and, uh, and so our sphere a is going to have posit to become positively charged while the negatively charged particles in sphere b they're going to redistribute themselves and sphere b becomes negatively charged and that is the end of our lesson I have an assignment for you. Number one, state the laws of electro electrostatic charge. Number two, why does a balloon attract papers upon rabbit it on air? And the reference book we are going to use is from one physics scale B, fifth edition, 2019. For more information, contact us on our phone number on YouTube, Elimo TV, Facebook, Elimo TV, Twitter at Elimo TV underscore KE. Thank you for watching Elimo TV.